All right. Welcome to Lone Survival. In this video, I will teach you guys how to hopefully get better FPS on Lone Survival using custom flags. And I will be showing you guys how to do this using two methods. One's the classic method where you just drag the files into your Roblox folder. And the second one is using Blockstrap to add the flags for you. And this is the main method that I use to get better FPS in Roblox in general because a lot of people have been asking me how I get high FPS on loan, especially since loan is not really optimized that well. I do get a lot of frame drops on it as well. I'm on 120 FPS right now on 10 graphics with no uh, custom flags, but that's probably only because I have a decent PC. Not the best, but I imagine some of you guys probably have much worse PCs or have more lower end PCs than what I have. So hopefully this video should help you guys get better FPS on Roblox. So let's get started. One thing to note about with using flags is that Roblox has been saying for a while that they're going to patch flags soon so you won't be able to use them. So this might be the last chance that you guys might have to use flags for Roblox because Roblox might patch them soon and cause them to stop working. Anyways, so the first step you guys want to do is to download the client app settings file that I've linked in the description. And this file will contain all the flags you will need to get better FPS on Lone and on Roblox. If you open the file in Notepad, you're going to see what this file contains. Zoom in. So at the top here, we've got FPS unlocker flag. This will unlock your FPS so that it can be above 60 if your Roblox is buggy and doesn't let you go above 60 from the menu for some reason. And under it, we have the Alt Enter full screen flag. This will fix the Alt Enter full screen. So basically, if you press Alt Enter while Roblox is open, it'll enter you into an alternate full screen mode, which has less input delay and should make your game feel a lot more smoother. These four flags are on no grass, pretty self-explanatory. These two flags, I think they're patched now. I don't think they work anymore, but I just kept them here. These used to be the flags where it changed your graphics quality slider from 10 bars to 20 bars, but I think they patched that out a while ago and doesn't work anymore. I still keep it, just for the heck of it. This flag, this is probably the most important flag in the whole file. Basically, it locks your graphics quality setting to a certain level, but it also allows you to change your render distance as well. So you can use high render distance while also having the lowest graphics quality level, which is, you know, essential for survival games like this. You always want to see far so you can see everything. These two flags control um, texture qualities and the resolution, so I have it set to zero right now, which means that texture quality will be really low quality, really low resolution. And then here, we got some extra stuff with terrain and lighting. It's so like this one will change the resolution of the terrain slices. The terrain slices on the ground will be very low quality and will be really low resolution, really blurry. These two flags force this Roblox to use uh, voxel lighting instead of uh, future lighting. And voxel lighting, I, I think, is, is a little faster than future lighting. This one, this will disable post effects on Roblox, so things such as sun rays and uh, lens flares and stuff like that. Those will get disabled. And yeah, those are all the flags that are contained in this file, and those are probably all the flags that you should need. I will give you this warning though, these are the only flags that are approved by Lone Survival. I've talked with staff, I've talked with admins about this, and they said these are the only flags that are approved to be used for Lone Survival. So if you try and use any other flags, use them at your own risk, because if you get caught using them, you they might ban you. But again, it depends on what flag you use, but still, you shouldn't really need any more flags other than these flags right here. Anyways, Yap session is over. Now it's time to show you guys how to actually install this onto your Roblox. So basically, what you want to do is type Roblox into your start menu, right click the Roblox player, open file location, and then find the Roblox player again, open file location, and then you should be brought to a folder that looks like this with all of these files. What you want to do is to create a new folder in this folder, name it client settings, and then in this folder, you drag the client app settings JSON that you downloaded into that. And now you should be ready to go. Let's open Roblox. Okay, so right off the bat, even in the main menu, you can see that a lot has changed. You know, the ground is very low quality, very blurry, and also the textures on the walls and stuff and the trees are also pretty low quality and blurry. And if we join the server, you should also see more changes, more differences. All right, I'm in a server now and you can see the difference that these flags makes. As you can tell, the ground is very low quality, very low resolution, and also there's no grass. 
the grass has been removed but the important thing to note here is that I'm on a high render distance and there's low graphics so if I turn my graphics quality all the way down you can see this is what Roblox should look like on the lowest graphics so there's no like there's like no high resolution shadows and stuff but if we turn our graphics quality slider all the way up you can see that visually the graphics quality doesn't change so like nothing is changed visually but our render distance goes up now you can use low graphics quality while also being able to see really far which is good also i forgot to mention with the alt enter full screen what you have to do is press alt and enter and it should put you into the alt enter mode you know you know if it's worked if you press f11 on your keyboard and nothing happens that means it has worked and what this basically does is it activates the alt enter full screen that has less input delay and is more smooth than a normal Roblox full screen. So yeah, your game should feel a lot more smooth and a lot more responsive using this instead of the normal full screen. Now let's move on to using Blockstrap to apply these flags instead. All right, so first thing you guys wanna do again is to go to the official Blockstrap GitHub. Make sure that this is the official Blockstrap GitHub. I will link the official Blockstrap sites in the description so you can just go there without worrying about any viruses but this is the official blockstrap page right here and we gotta download blockstrap first so scroll down on the main github page and then in this installing section there should be a link the latest release of blockstrap just click that and then down here in assets just click the exe file all right after you've downloaded blockstrap you double click the exe file to start the installation process and then here in completion click on configure blockstrap settings i'm gonna full screen this and then in, go to engine settings and then go down here into the fast flag editor. There's gonna be a warning, just wait, just wait 10 seconds to click the button. So here, click add new, and then click import JSON, import from file, and then click on the JSON file that we downloaded at the start of the video, and then it should import all the flags from the file. Press okay, press yes. And now we have all the flags set up on Blockstrap. Press save, and now if we launch Roblox, you can see Blockstrap installing Roblox here. This is Blockstrap installing the flags into your game. Now, one advantage of using Blockstrap compared to the classic method is that you don't have to do this again when Roblox updates. So with the other method, every time Roblox updates, you're gonna have to do that whole process all over again. But if you just use Blockstrap, you don't have to worry about that. Blockstrap will automatically install them for you after every Roblox update. But as you can see, after using Blockstrap, the flags still work. All this stuff still low quality, everything's working perfect. You should now have much better FPS, especially if you're on a lower end PC. You should see a noticeable difference in your FPS if you use these flags. Anyways, that's it for the video. That's it for the tutorial. Hopefully this video has been really helpful to you, and I'll see you guys in the next loan video.